Decker's men, ain't it? Yeah, Hank Simon's boss. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we offer you the final event, the finals of the Bucking Horse Contest. Debbie Morrell of the Hawk Decker Crowd. Watch him, folks, because he's really good. And all right, folks, watch this boy riding now. Hawks gang have done right well for themselves this year. Sure have, Wallace. If it wasn't for that fellow from up north, they'd just about made a clean sweep with this Rodeo. <laughs> your darndest. I ain't asking for your sympathy. Furthermore, you haven't ridden that dynamite horse yet. Gosh, I guess you're right there, partner. Let's go and see what the stranger is going to do with dynamite. Tough luck, kid. Hey, I bet you're going to ride this one, cowboy. <laughs> I bet you I do, because I got glue on the shaft. Oh, you ain't either. <laughs> hey, Rusty. Hold these for me, will you? Like, come back? Sure. Because I might not be so popular after I ride this horse. I'll wait right here for you. <laughs> All right. I'm glad it's him up there and not me. He sure can ride. Good man. Just about putting this rodeo in your pocket, isn't you, young fella? <laughs> What's on your mind, boss? I was just wondering. 
Wondering if he can shoot like he can ride. We might be able to use him. Yeah, well, that's an idea. Say, what are you going to do with that swell sand you want in the bulldog? You've had about everything on it but the kitchen sink, didn't it? Yeah. Well, I left it over in one of the barns. It had the name on it. I don't guess there's any thieves around here, huh? Ha, ha, ha! Got you, Hey, you better get on over to the judge's stand and collect that Mazuma, hadn't you? Yeah. I'm heading that way right now. Well, the doing's about over. I'd better round up the outfits before they get in trouble. You know, agreements are sometimes broken. And with that Decker outfit in town, somebody's have to forget that this is neutral territory. See you later. Well, let's mosey on down to Lower Corrales and watch that auction. Glad you won, my boy. Three hundred dollars is a lot of money for a young fella. Don't throw it away. Oh, not on your life. I'm gonna buy the best horse that three hundred dollars can buy. You're all right, Whitey. Three hundred bucks. Fast on the draw, aren't you? <laughs> oh, fair. Fairer than fair, I'd say. Well, go on, get it over with. You've got the drop. Huh? Oh, I was only fooling. Didn't you just take a shot at me? No. But I just heard a shot. I thought it was some cow waddy letting off steam. Waddies don't let off steam like that around dry grass. Not if they want to stay healthy. Hey, look. Look what I just won. Silver and everything. Hey, wild horse. Did you just take a shot at me? No. I didn't take a shot at you. If I had, you wouldn't have been talking about it. Come on, horse. Looking for a job? Sure, you got one? Maybe. My name's Walters. Greg Walters, boss of the Rock and You? Right. Say, a fella's liable to get plenty of action to join up with your outfit, ain't he? Better sit. I've got some talking to do. Can you keep your mouth shut? Mr. Wallers, compared to me, a clam is just a gossipy old woman. If I qualify, when do I start? 
Maybe when I finish talking, you won't want the job. Mm, must be a tough one. And then some. I'll give you good stakes. A ranch of your own and a good start of cattle. What's the game? I ain't afraid to play it if it's on the level. It's on the level, all right. When do I report? If you don't report to the rotten you. You get yourself a job with Hulk Decker's crew of wild horse hunters. Well, them's good cow ponies, gents. Come on, let's see some of you waddies loosen up. Make a bid. Give you five dollars for the bunch, Hawk. Reckon I can sell them to the glue factory for ten and make myself some money. <laughs> I ain't asking for any funny stuff from the rockin' you. If this wasn't neutral ground, you wouldn't be popping off so free. That's what I call a fair offer for them critters, Hawk. And you can take it or leave it. I ain't taking nothing from the rockin' you. Bigger Decker's out gunning for you, huh? Him or some of his outfit. That ain't all. Some years ago, my own boy was killed in a stampede that looked mighty suspicious. And just ten days ago, my nephew Jimmy was shot in the back from ambush. Oh, gone. Looks kind of like they tried to wipe out your whole tribe. Couldn't be no one else, you reckon? No. Unless it was that old wild horse Henderson you saw go by just now. No, he's just a queer old cuss. Kind of cracked in the head. No, it couldn't be him. How come your outfit ain't been able to do something? They ain't exactly sissies from what I've heard. I thought I could bank on every man I've got. But I can't. One of them's crossing me up. I can't make a move that Decker doesn't know. So the only thing I can do is play their game and put a man into their outfit. I'll take that job, Mr. Wallace. I was hoping you would, son. Somehow I'm banking on you. And if you find out who killed my nephew, and who's trying to get me, a ranch is yours. If you fail, well, I reckon you won't need it. <laughs> well, I ain't dead yet. I gotta get me a horse. Well, get down to the auction corral. Decker's got some horses up for sale. You might pick yourself a good one. Oh, just a minute. Bart? Whitey. Whitey, this is Bart Hunter, my foreman. Glad to know you, Hunter. It goes both ways. Bart's the one man I can trust. Well, we've got the man, and he's all set to go. Hey, that's great. Now maybe we'll get somewhere. You want to keep your eyes open. You're up against a tough proposition. Let's you and me go down to the corral, boss. Oh, uh, maybe you better not be seen with us. It's a good idea. You bought yourself a horse, cowboy. Stay home or get these horses out of here. Bring in prairie land. Well, you wait and see. Come on, get the horses out of here. Come on, get the horses out of here. Want to buy yourself a horse, champ? Oh, I'm going to take a look. Well, cash talks with Hawk, and you got it. <laughs> well, there's a horse. That's what I call a horse. There's him myself. Look at that. Better clear out of this country, champ. Me? What for? You'll find out. I like the climate. <laughs> All right. There's the horse. Let's get down to business, boys. Somebody give me a bid. You better make it plenty. Well, there stands the greatest four-year-old you ever seen. Fairly lad. King of the dry grass country. How much? He's mine. He's my horse. He's mine. He's my horse. 
If you keep your mouth shut, wild horse. You ain't going to sell that horse to anybody. He ain't your horse, and you know it. I come to get prayer, lad. He's mine. You stole him from Molly and me. And you ain't going to sell that horse to... Stop it, stop it, quick. Let me alone. Let me alone. Let me... Quiet, though. Hold it. Hold it. Kid, you've got more nerve or less sense than any hombre I ever met up with. Yeah. Folks around here that know don't draw on Hawk Decker's outfit. That's so? Where I come from, people don't pick on helpless old men either. You looking for a job? Might be. The horse go with it? He does for three hundred dollars. When do we ride? Tomorrow morning at sunup. I'll be with you. Come on, Grandpa, let's see what we can do for you. I'll be back from a horse. Listen, Hawk, what do you want to hire that guy for? You don't know anything about him. I am running this outfit, and I'm running it the way I see fit. We'll get you all fixed up here in just a minute. Here, now, you sit right down there. I ain't gonna forget this. <laughs> all right, old timer. Uh, hold still. We'll get you all fixed up oh. here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that looks good. So you are still alive, Walters. Yeah, you ain't gonna live long, though. And when you're dying, I hope I'll be there to laugh at you. I've got you licked right. And when you go, you ain't gonna have nothing. Now, hold on, Henderson. I'm a going, and I don't aim to breathe poison because the area's poisoned around here since you come. Huh. Friend of yours, huh? The old buzzard used to own the Triangle C. Play your cards on the table, Mr. Walters. All right. It was a fight between him and the Rock and You for grass. Well, I guess I won. Of course, there was some hard feelings and a few killings. It was about that time that my boy got killed in that stampede I was telling you about. Then old Henderson's daughter Margie disappeared. Shortly after that, the old man himself left this part of the country. When he came back, he had a baby girl with him. That's Molly Henderson. She's about 18 now. Gosh. No wonder the old man's a little loose in the head. Oh, I don't think it's him that's laying for me. That's just crazy talk of his. It's someone else, son. Someone else. And that's your job to find out who it is. Good luck, boy. Cowboy. Want to know what you whistle? Huh. Maybe. 
Well, you know, I'm kind of sorry that the boss roped you in on this mix-up. You know, you're tying in with a dangerous man. You keep your eyes skinned. And if Hawk Decker makes a move, get him. But get him first. <laughs> Set him up, Barkeep. All right, boys, David. Give me a pair. Did pretty well this time. I'll say you did, boss. <laughs> Some of those scrubs you unnoted was a crime. <laughs> you know, if you wanted to pull out of this thing, it's not too late. Ah, forget it. You know, uh, you got me sized all wrong, Hunter. Why don't you get oiled up? Not a bad idea. Uh, but not you and me together. Oh, sure, I forgot. Yeah, after a while. Hey, come on over here where you belong. Oh, yeah. See you later, boys. See you later. Hi, Hawk. Hi. We're pulling out for Sundog Butte in the morning. Yeah, I'm all set. Where you been? Oh, around. Uh, Hey, I just had a very interesting conversation with uh, Mart uh, Hunter. Told me you were a pretty tough hombre. Better look out for myself. <laughs> the next time you see Bart Hunter, tell him to look out for his own skin. I guess I'll have to explain. In the old days, me and my gang, the Rock and You, Wild Horse Henderson and his gang couldn't agree. So whenever we came to town, it was bound to be fighting. Yes, sir, lots of fighting. Naturally, the town got itself all clustered up with corpses, and dry grass got an awful bad name for killings. That's a fact. We seen something had to be done about it, so we called a meeting. Right in the saloon. I was here. An agreement was drawn up and signed that all killings had to be done out of town. Anyone ever cross themselves up here? No, sir. That agreement ain't been broken yet. That agreement is going to be broken now. I've come to get the man who murdered my nephew, Jimmy. Shot him in the back. He'd better draw, because I'm going to kill him. On the count of three, I shoot. One, two, three. Me neither. The bottle will be a massacre. They ain't gonna blame this on us. All my outfit get going. Anybody here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. All right, give me a light. Give me a candle. Oh, a lantern, anything. Come on, hurry up. I'm all prepared. I need to move. I've got a lantern down here someplace, too, if I can find it. Me. Come on, come on, get some whiskey, water, anything. All right, all right, hurry all right, up. Right. Who shot him? Whoever shot out the lights got the boss. He wasn't shot. He was stabbed. Boys, get him up on the bar. Supposing you give out a little information. What do you mean? How come you didn't stampede with the rest of us? 
I'm the one that shut out the light. Oh. W R. W R. What do you reveal? So you shut out the light. Boy! Ah, now, wait a minute. for the brakes. Well, he's not going to get away from us. Get your horses. All right, Mike. Give me the towel here. <laughs> what is it, Gramps? What's in that wallet that you're always looking at and saying, wait till Walter sees it? You wouldn't understand now, Molly, but you will, and soon, because the feud of the Rocking You and Hawk Zicker's horse thieves is on again. <laughs> yes, and they're both out looking for Whitey Ravel. One trying to hang him for stabbing Walters, and the other out to protect him. <laughs> And I've got them hid. <laughs> Let them sling lead at each other, and I hope none of them miss. <laughs> Where are you going now, Grant? Huh? I'm headed for dry grass. I've got to show this to Walters before he dies. <laughs> but why, Gramps? You learn. And don't forget, Molly, what I told you. Stick close to the cabin. Remember, the rocking you and Hawk Deckers is fighting again. <laughs> yes, sir. back here, Six Fitz? Hawk Decker sent me here. See if Whitey was hiding. He wants him back at our own place. He's afraid the rock and you will get a hold of him and string him up. Gramps told me all about it. Maybe he done it. No, he didn't. Maybe he did. He knew Prairie Lad was Gramps' horse and mine. And he bought him, didn't he? Yeah, but he didn't stab Walters because he didn't have that knife. I had it. I found a stick in the corral fence. And I lost it. I don't know who had it after that. Say, maybe your grandfather. He hates Walters. Grants didn't do it. Say, maybe you didn't lose that knife, Six Fitz. Maybe you done it. I didn't. Oh, I'm working for Hawk Decker. But I wouldn't knife Walters or anybody else. But you've got to tell me where Whitey's hidden. Hawk Decker says he ain't gonna take the blame for something he didn't do. And he ain't gonna take nothing off the rock and you. And he's declared war on Walters. Because if Whitey hadn't shot out the light, Walters would have killed Hawk. That's why I've got to find Whitey. I don't know where he is exactly. Gramps got him hid somewhere up in the brakes. Well, if you see him, tell him to get rid of Prairie Lad, because you can see that horse a mile. So long, Molly.
trace of him. Hey, he must have gone that way, Bart. Thanks, Doc, for keeping me here overnight. That was a close call, Walters. You'll have to take it easy for a week or two. I'm sorry, Doc, but I'm hitting for the hills, pronto. You can't do that. Why, you ought to be in bed. My boys are out on the trail, and I aim to be with them. Furthermore, I'm beginning to understand things, and it ain't pleasant understanding. Thanks again, Doc, for fixing me up. You've got my horse. Your horse? I said you've got my horse. He belongs to me. <laughs> you must be mistaken. I just give Decker $300 for him. Decker stole him. You better get out of dry grass country. Gramps got back to the ranch at daybreak and says Walters was stabbed and everybody figured you done it. I done it? Yeah. And right after that, Six Bits come by and told me the rocking you was out after you. <laughs> You're telling me. Thanks for the tip. Oh, no, you don't, mister. That's my horse. Come on, get off. Get. If you don't get off, I'll shoot. Well, all right. Come on. Come on. Now, get over there. Turn your back. Oh, lady, you're making an awful mistake. You come along with me, people. I got orders to bring you in. Bring me in where? Hawk's waiting for you. Oh. Put up that pistol, buddy. I ain't hostile. Hey, Jeb. I think you and me better sit down and have a talk. Come on. Why do you come in on this six bit? You seem to be in on the know. Who stole my knife? Maybe you can tell me that. Who stole my knife? I did. Oh, so you're the one I'm after, huh? No, no, Waddy. I didn't do no killing or stabbing. Honest, I didn't. Now listen. I'm listening. Well, I needed that money awful bad. When you won, I was pretty mad at you. I went down to the barn. I was going to cut your saddle up. Well, for God's sake, what stopped you? You did. When you and Waller did into the barn, I dropped the knife and hid out in one of the stalls. And you heard it? Sure. 
But I ain't said anything. I'm just as anxious as you are to find out who shot Jimmy. Is that all? No. When I went back to look for the knife, it was gone. The same way my gun disappeared when Jimmy was shot. I figured something was bound to happen, and sure enough, it did. That's why I warned you down by the corral. Oh, I see. Whoever's doing the dirty work is figuring on landing on whoever happens to be close by. Yeah, if it hadn't been for Wild Horse, I'd have been stretching for the murder of Jimmy. Tell me something, Six Bits. Why was you so anxious to win that money? Oh, gee, do I have to tell you that? You might just as well while they're in the telling mood. I used to work for an outfit up in Wyoming. The old man sent me to town to sell a bunch of cattle. I got in a poker game and lost. <laughs> I see. You want to pay it back, huh? Sure. I want to go home. I don't like the job I got now, working with Hawk and a bunch of crooks. <laughs> don't worry about it, kid. Things got a way of straightening themselves out if you keep a stiff upper lip. Let's get going. That's Whitey. I know that horse anywhere. Send six bits after him to bring him in, and here he falls right in our lap. Oh. Rockin' you, boys! Throw them out! Huh? I ain't no such thing. He's mine. You stole him from me and Gramps. I ain't gonna take that kind of talk from you. Where's Whitey? Where'd you get that horse? I ain't gonna tell you. I think I'll take you back to camp with me. Your talk. Climb on that horse. Go on, get going. Let's get out of here. Too many of them. Besides, we're out of ammunition. But, boss, I'm giving the orders here. Get your horses. I reckon we'll have a pleasant surprise for Hawk when we come dragging you in. Get on your horse. All right, tie up there. Get off that horse. Come on, get in. Come on, get in there. You'll be sorry for this, Hawk, Digger. Yeah, maybe I will, but get in there. done with her. Oh, you're getting to be a plum nuisance. I reckon Hawk will know how to deal with you. Well, he's all right. She's up to Hawk's cabin with him. You're lying. Go on, get in here and come along with us. Hurry up. I thought I told you to stay in there. What are you doing, that girl? Didn't you lift your horse and saddle right from one of you? Oh, <laughs> no. I gave it back to her. It was her horse in the first place. You see? Hey, six bits. Come here. Take the girl where she'll be safe. Say, wait a... 
Good idea. Hurry up. I'm taking you in to see Waller. Why, you uh, plumb crazy. Maybe I am, but I'll take a chance. What do you want to drag me into this Waller's trouble for? Waller said he was going to plug the man that killed his nephew. And he was looking right at you when he said it. Well, do I take you in or... You win, you win. Just, uh, act natural. Yeah, sure. Hawk, we run those rockin' new coyotes clean out of the country. That's fine. They were getting too high and mighty anyway. Molly, you ain't hurt? No, Graham. You can thank your lucky stars, Hawk, that you didn't hurt my girl. If you had, I'd have uh, killed you. What'd you bring that old fool here for? I told you to leave him alone. Couldn't help it, boss. We got Bart Hunter, too. You got what? Sure. He didn't even put up a fight. Threw his hands in the air and came right along. Well, Mr. Bud Hunter, come to pay us a visit. You can't do nothing to me, Hawk. You know the rockin' you outfit ain't through with you yet. Mr. Bud Hunter and me are gonna have a little talk. Private life. Not a bad idea. I think I'll just sit in on it to kind of protect you, Hawk. Say. Sure. Sure. I thought you'd like it. Well, let's start the meeting. What's he giving orders around here for? Sit down. We're going to have quite a little session. <laughs> Looks like you two's finally caught up with. <laughs> Molly, you better stay away from front of the house. And that will be some fireworks. Come with me. Things is commencing to clear up considerable in my head. In the first place, you two as partners. That'll be mighty interesting information for Mr. Wallers. One of ours. Well, he ain't gonna hear about it from you. You ain't getting out of here alive. No? Who's that? There's somebody riding fast and furious. That's the boss himself. Where are you fellas heading for? Back to town for help. Help? You need help against Hawk Decker and his gang of thieves? Bart said that we were outnumbered, and we ran out of ammunition. Bart? Where is Bart? I don't know. Hawk Decker's men got him, maybe. Well, I aim to rid this country of Hawk Decker and his gang of cutthroats once and for all. We'll run him out. We're with you, boss. Let's get some ammunition and get going. Bart? You put Mr. Wallers up to killing Hawk here, didn't you? Well, that's a lie. Sit down, you. So that's the game you're playing. I thought there was something funny. Wallace had me spotted the minute he came into the saloon. Well, you crazy hawk. Why did I hang back and let your gang bring me in if I was trying to double cross you? Listen, you two. I'm doing the talking now. You can finish that argument when I'm through. Bart Hunter, you killed Waller's son. You killed his nephew. Then he was going to kill Waller's himself after he'd plugged Hawk here. Then you figured to lay the blame on six bits. But when you found out he had my knife, well, I'd do just as well, huh? Then after you'd finished your killings, you'd have control of the rock and you. You didn't want to share it with Hawk. That's why you wanted him out of the way. Now, if I've misstated any of the facts, just let me know. 
It ain't so, I tell you, Hawk. Well, he's making up every word of it. It's all lies. After all I've done for you, try to get me plugged so you'd hog the whole works for yourself. I knew you was a crook when you tried to wipe out your boss. But it takes more than you to beat Hawk Decker. Listen, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it. It's all a bunch of lies. Listen, Hawk. We gotta get rid of that hombre. He's poisoned to both of us. Maybe you're right. I'll settle with you after. No, you don't. Back up against that wall. <laughs> There's the one that killed Jimmy. I told the boss he'd done it. Ah, uh, you talk too much, Bart. And he put six bits up the knife in Wallers. I know it. You're talking yourself into a hanging. <laughs> I could tell who left Six Bits Gun beside the body of that poor kid. Who was it? He's lying to save himself. Oh, no, I ain't. <laughs> what are you driving at, Wild Horse? I tell you, he done it. <laughs> I don't have to do no killing. <laughs> the other's doing it for me. Ah, I'm waiting for Greg Walters to die. And when he's on his deathbed, He'll find out that old wild horse Henderson is smarter than him. That'll make dying mighty hard, because I'll be there telling him that he's lost everything that he fought for. And that is what is going to strip Greg Walters of the rock and you and everything he's got. <laughs> and there ain't no court of law that can ever change it, even when he's dead. <laughs> Here, wait a minute there. What's the matter? Cut this out. Come on, get back there. What's the... Oh, the rocking new outfit. my horse.
busy. I know a trick or two. I'm going up above. Hold up, boys. I ain't going with you. The doctor was right. You go get him. Here's the cause of all your trouble, Mr. Waller. I had an idea he was. I saw him coming up behind me in the saloon last night just as you shot out the light. Well, you earned your ranch. It's all the same to you. I just as soon have $300. What do you need $300 for? I don't, but six bits does. He's in a jam in Wyoming and wants to pay his old boss back. That's right. Always play square with the boss. Well, you can have that $300, and the ranch, too. Well, let's get going. Get down, cowboy. Here's the man you've been looking for, boys. He's the one that's been double-crossing the rock and you. Well, what are you going to do with this one? Uh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Six bits didn't have anything to do with this. Why, of course not. Turn him loose. And besides, he's on his way back to Wyoming pretty quick. You mean? Sure. I'm going to give you a check pretty quick. Come on inside, boss, and rest up a little bit. I'll take care of your horse. All right, kid. Say, where's Bart Hunter? He's got my proof. Where is he? What? Hey! Hey, bring that Bart Hunter back here. Wait a minute. <laughs> He's all yours. There you are, old timer. Open it. Huh? Open it and read it. I want to see Greg Walter's face when he knows that I've got the best of them all the time. Eat Henderson, and you're plumb crazy. Go on, son. Read him and tell him what it says. Uh-oh. Well, Mr. Walters, I want you to meet your granddaughter. This marriage certificate says that your son, Bill, was married to Pete Henderson's daughter. The other one is the birth certificate of Molly. So, I guess the rocking you has an heir. You're not telling me anything I didn't know. What? You knew this all the time and never said nothing? Why, well, sure. Why, Walters, you're the meanest man that I ever knew. Why didn't you say something Because about it? I didn't want you to take Molly away where I wouldn't find her well, anymore. Well, that's what I ought to have done. Yes, and that's just what you would have done, too, you old buzzard. Well, let me tell you, you... 
Oh, I guess there ain't nothing wrong with those two old oh. buzzards. Let's get out of here. Come on. If it wasn't by a gunshot, I'd... Oh, there he is. You know where Wyoming is. Well, sh sure. <laughs> You've still got my horse. Huh? I say you've still got my horse. Uh-uh. You mean our horse. <laughs> 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 